Людок, пошел в жопу. Так, так, блин, за три Людок, мы с тобой в прошлый раз за одну сторону воевали, как так? Можешь садиться в помойку и выходить. Давайте, блядь, проверим, кто из нас главный Dead Inside. Hello and welcome to Foxhole Hearts of Iron 4 mod. We have just released a beta version, and although it's still work in progress, it's already fun and playable, so check it out under the video. Well, this mod is mainly about clan warfare. Here, as Russian squad clan leader, I want to take over other colonial clans while defending against the warden threat at the same time. That's gonna be difficult. At the moment, the mod features two generic focus trees, one for wardens and one for colonials, as well as a tree for battle brothers and third divisions, because we, the developers, come from these clans. And every focus tree has the same industrial branch, so that it's uh, fairly balanced. The generals all have custom names and surnames. There are four branches in the generic political tree. You can stay loyal to your faction, be it Warden Empire or Colonial Republic, or you can become a communist, fascist, or even, God forbid, a democrat. Here you can see a civil war has erupted between the Warden Empire and Warden Union. Some nations might find their civil war a little too difficult, such as island hopping for Warden Navy, but you can change your ideology peacefully by going down the relevant focus tree branch. Just don't repeat my mistake of choosing democracy, or you might find your rear unprotected. And here comes the first casualty of this war. Regiment of Death is quickly expanding. Now, before we continue, I would like to make a friendly reminder that focus descriptions and names are not to offend anyone, they're purely for the lulz. Now, when you go for a certain political tree branch, you will be locked to one of the factions. There are four warden and four colonial factions for each ideology. No matter which ideology you choose, you will have to stay with your warden or colonial brethren unless you go for the deal with the devil. Now, unless you're a fascist and you have some starting territorial claims, in the beginning you can't wage war on anyone. What you can do is wage border wars. Now, if you haven't played as Chinese warlords in the base game, border wars are fought without uh, declaring a war. It's a special event that takes six of your divisions against six divisions of your enemy commanded by artificial intelligence and if you win a border war you can take one of the enemy states or lose a lot of political power if you don't. This mechanic is meant to mimic the old days of Foxhole when the clans would get private servers from the developers and fight each other to test whose skills are superior. However, you do gain access to normal wars after you do a special focus in your tree. You can see factions having their first conflict as they've grown big. We've tried to add as many factions as feasible so that you don't instantly end up in a world war between two sides like in the base game. You get to fight more wars over the same period of time. I want to remind you that this mod is still a work in progress and although it's fun and playable, we have many more plans to add. We are in constant search of new members, so if you want to make any contributions, be it designing a focus tree logo or adding in a leader for a new country or scripting some events, you're welcome to contact us and uh, become a part of a team or a, a contributor at least. Мы сейчас в постоянном поиске новых разработчиков и поэтому если вы хотите нарисовать иконку, добавить лидера, приписать какие-то ивенты, 
Мы будем рады любой вашей помощи. Присоединяйтесь к нашей команде или просто скидывайте ваши наработки. Будем благодарны. Now you can see the player uh, playing as a 404th regiment uh, is aware that uh, I'm also declaring on him and he wants to seed the state I'm claiming to the bot enemy so that I can't wage war on him. But he couldn't do it in time and I'm preparing a naval landing. Uh, actually we tried to make a big emphasis on navy in this mod because there are many islands and uh, every country has a decent amount of dockyards unlike uh, vanilla hearts of iron and uh, we will expand this further there even is a focus to get aircraft carriers in foxhole but first you have to become friends with the devs to ask them for that now the trailer is coming to an end. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to our mod on Steam and like on YouTube. And see you on the battlefield in Hearts of Iron 4 Foxhole mod. Так, давайте, кто пойдет фашисты? Давайте, давайте, ребят. Я уже пойду. Я уже фашист. Я уже все. Я в динамиках, я говорю, короче, я уже фашист, все. Нормальный фокус, мне всегда нравился установить дискорд, блядь.